Hey everyone, I'm here at our Bob Jane T-Mod studio and I want to give you a bit of an overview of one of Goodyear's all-terrain tyres that I think is a bit of an unsung hero within their range in Australia. This is the Goodyear all-terrain adventure. We actually have it on promotion this month, so go to the bobjane.com.au website, you'll be able to check it out. I've been running it on my MQ Triton now for the last eight months and I must admit I've been very impressed with it. Since I've had the Triton, I've actually fitted, I've actually run a set of general tires, a set of Continentals, a set of our J-Tracks, and a set of Yokohamas on the vehicle. Now since I've fitted these tires to my Triton, we've done some serious driving on them. We've done a round trip to Melbourne to Perth, which was my real long journey on these tires on the MK Triton, where I was gonna cover various terrains. The links to those trips are in the description below, but what you haven't seen in those videos are actually my impressions of this tire. So let's take a look at what I first thought of this tire as we drove on that journey. And first impression is really good tire. So the tires have held extremely well in the wet. We've driven them on smooth surface, rough surface, new, new bitumen surface. And first impressions are really, really impressive. They've been quiet on the road and I've really enjoyed driving these tires. So we've done some basic off-roading as you would see. Not much, only about 30 kilometers. So we'll see when we get to Perth and we've done some more off-roading, what these tires really have to offer in terms of off-road performance. But I'm reckoning they're gonna be pretty good. We've done bitumen driving, a little bit of off-road driving out in the mud and now out on the beach. Running at 20 PSI. I've got to admit I'm very impressed with these tyres, yeah, so the bitumen driving and the bitumen holding that we've had, especially in some of the rainy conditions, the tyres have been exceptional. Once we went off road through a lot of those puddles and um, picking up a couple of stones out on the gravel roads, the tyres were fairly clean by the time you made it back to the bitumen. So yeah, from my perspective, comfort wise, comfortable tyres, sand holding, really, really capable. For a tyre that's, that's a good all-terrain and a nice balance between what it offers from the Dura tracks, I really rate these tyres. And to be honest, I don't think I'm taking them off. Yeah, so we're on our final stint on our way to Perth. We're about 3,100 kilometres into the journey. And we spent the last three hours on the Highland Norseman Road, which is a long gravel road, a fairly well maintained gravel road, I must admit. So we had quite a rutted gravel road we did a couple of days ago when we, when we went out onto the beach that really shook the car quite hard. We were running the tyres at 30 psi and these Wrangler all-terrain adventures have actually been very good on this road. They've been sure footed, haven't had a lot of stone trapping within the tread pattern and yeah, felt very, very comfortable and very secure driving on this gravel road for so long. So we've done almost 7,000 kilometers and we're about to hit Melbourne as the weather would suggest. And I want to give a bit of an overview of what I've experienced on the Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain adventures on the Triton so far. So in terms of on-road performance from when we put the tires on the vehicle, there was a remarkable improvement in terms of comfort and also less road noise that I experienced on the vehicle. In terms of off-road performance, Goodyear has the patented Kevlar technology in these tyres, which means it gave me confidence that there was an additional layer of protection in the tyres when hitting off-road. The tyres were extremely capable in the beach driving we did, the sand driving we did, and even in some of the mud that we played in, which means that the tyres presented a good all-round balance in terms of on-road performance as well as off-road capability. So I would have no hesitation in terms of recommending these tyres to anyone who wants a good all-rounder for their four-wheel drive to be able to have safety on road as well as take the vehicle off road in Australia. So in June this year I did a Simpson Desert Cross on the Triton. I was in two minds in preparation for the trip whether I actually changed my tyres to an LT spec or whether I kept, keep these Wrangler all-terrain adventures on which are passenger spec. Now let me say in the field of four-wheel drives on the trip that ran with me I was the only vehicle that ran a passenger spec but I was also one of the only vehicles that never had a suspension lift on. So we started in Broken Hill, drove through the Flinders Ranges onto the Undadatta track to Mount Dare, onto the French line to Popel's Corner, and then up the Hay River track where we exited at Du Bois. From there, it was all bitumen driving back to Melbourne. Overall, the trip was 5,850 kilometers that I tracked kind of door to door, Melbourne to Melbourne. 
And I must admit, the Wrangler all-terrain adventures didn't give me a stitch of problems. I ran the passenger spec. It was all about tire pressure management as we went onto the different tracks. They were very safe and comp competent tire. So if you're looking for a tire that you want to fit to your four-wheel drive, you spend 90% of your time on the bitumen. You don't do really crazy off-road driving, but you want the comfort and you want the stability and the wet road holding that it gives you while on road. I've got total confidence in these tires and running them on my vehicle. And I would recommend them for anyone who spends a good amount of time in the city, but wants to confidently go off-road.